It's Kentucky versus Tennessee this week on the gridiron. And it's Kentucky versus Tennessee right here on the Power Half Hour as John Noble battles Stan Lee. Plus, country strong Misty James all this week on the Power Half Hour, which starts right now. Here we go with a big match this week for the top ten challenge series. John Noble of Kentucky versus Stan Lee of Tennessee. And I got to say, coming to Tennessee always brings the worst out in John Noble. Both of these man, men are battling it out here today to move up in the rankings for the, not only the Southern States heavyweight title, but also the Appalachian Mountain title. And you see John Noble with a side headlock on Stan Lee right there. John has been arguing with the people before this match started, complaining about Tennessee right there. You hear him yelling Kentucky and his old Kentucky home and talking to how mu about how much better the state of Kentucky is than Tennessee. And no one here at ringside will agree with him on that statement as we are coming to you from Kingsport, Tennessee. Right here, both of these men, former Southern States heavyweight champions, former Southern States tag team champions, former nationwide heavyweight champions. So this is a battle between two celebrated longtime veterans as John Noble back to that side headlock. I don't think he has Stan as well as he wants to. As Stan's able to break away there, send John across the ring. John over his man, and another big tackle, and down goes Stan Lee once again. And John Noble talking trash like I've never seen him before. Stan Lee kind of surprised from the actions of John Noble out here. Right there again, John Noble celebrating his roots and his heritage of coming from Eastern Kentucky. Stan Lee, always kind of a slow starter. He likes to fill out his opponent before he really kicks it into high gear and gets going. And John Noble is kind of the opposite most of the time as he likes to go right at you as soon as the bell rings. But John is not doing that today. And I think it has a lot to do with the man that he's wrestling. He knows he's in the ring with somebody that can beat you at any minute. Now Stan Lee with a side headlock. And I thought, oh yeah, cranking on that thing. He's got John right where he wants him right now. John Noble, oh, went to one knee with that one. Stan just cranking away at that head. Handful of hair from John Noble, something you don't expect from John very much. He sends Stan into the ropes and a big tackle from Stan Lee and down goes John Noble. Stan Lee up and over across from him. Noble for the hip toss, tries it again. It's not working, Stan Lee with a big hip toss. Follows it up with a big full body slam. And a drop kick from Stan Lee. And Stan goes after John Noble, who you see took his refuge to the floor right there. Laying on the hard concrete outside, Stan Lee's got it going his way. See him telling Jake Booth, the referee, to get John Noble back in the ring as Jake starts to count. John Noble now taking even more time. He has a 10 count to get back in the ring. On the floor complaining. Working his way back up. Had something to say to the people once again. I thought he was going to maybe look for something in the trash can, but I think he spit something. Might have lost a tooth there. Stan Lee patiently waiting for Noble to come back into the ring. The referee's telling him to come back, holding Stan back. Stan abiding by the rules. John Noble trying to slow it down, you see right there, kind of begging off. Now he says he likes Tennessee and he offers his hand. The people at ringside telling Stan Lee, don't trust him, don't shake hands with him. Stan doesn't know what to do because he's seeing a different side of John Noble here today. Stan agrees, I think. He's going to shake hands with him. He was shaking his head, yes. John Noble crosses his heart. I'm going to tell you, from a man that's wrestled John Noble many times over the years, he can be one of the greatest scientific wrestlers, but he also can break the rules. So you never know which John Noble you're gonna get. Still sticking that hand out there, trying to make nice. And he tried to sucker Stan Lee, but Stan was way ahead of him. John trying to get him, but he can't reach him. And a big right hand from Stan Lee sends John Noble down and another one knocks him back into the ropes. Across the ring, he goes in a big reverse Knife heads chop right there. Stan sends John Noble across the ring. Noble stops, hooks him, and drove him. 
the way he drove him, Stan's wrist and hand went straight down in the mat, just stove him up real good there. You could break an arm real easy with that. Stan Lee in pain in the corner. You see him trying to shake the pain off, and now John Noble going right to work on that arm. John Noble doing a number on Stan Lee. Let's get our first break in here so you can hear about the Southern States Wrestling Network and upcoming events, and we will be right back. And John Noble still working on that arm. As we return to action, it has been all John Noble during the break, and Stan Lee is feeling the pain. Noble going now, double wrist lock. He has got the pressure on him, using his knee to apply more pressure, using the knee against his own elbow to apply more pressure on the Stan's wrist and forearm. And you can see Stan trying to work his way, trying to get out of this thing, because he is in trouble right here. He is in trouble right here. John Noble has that hold. Stan firing back, able to break loose. But he runs right into the elbow of John Noble. Noble in for a count here. Surprisingly got a two count. I really didn't think he would get a two count there, but he goes right back to work on that arm. He is focusing on the wrist and forearm of Stan Lee, and you can see Stan is in some pain right here. He is in pain as John Noble has everything going his way. Stan trying to figure out a way to get out of this hole, trying to figure out a way to get the momentum changed back to him. Able to back John into the corner right here. 
big right hand, another big right hand. Sends John across the ring. Here comes Stan, and he, oh, he just ate a boot right there. John Noble kicked him right in the face and right back to the arm, right back to the arm and right back to that double wrist lock. Stan able to kick out. Look at the pain on Stan's face. He's digging deep here. This is what makes champions able to overcome, able to come back, able to work through the pain. And John Noble, oh, he's getting serious. Drops the straps right here. Going up to the ropes. I don't know what he's got planned here. Stan laying there and Stan gets him. Noble able to block a little bit of that maybe. And Stan got his foot up. But I think he might have took the heel right between the eyes. Stan Lee trying to get the fans to rally behind him. Trying to get things to go his way here. Stan working his way back up, back to his feet. And he blocks a big right and gives one. And again, and again, and again. He is rocking John Noble. Double chopped it, drops Noble right there. Stan went, you see Noble put the brakes on, trying to keep from getting hit with that again. John Noble is in some trouble right here, able to reverse it. Stan now with his chance to get the boot up and he got Noble right flush in the face and an elbow right there. Stan now to the second rope. Blockbuster neck breaker and you saw John Noble's head bounce off of the mat. And there's a three count. Stan Lee beats John Noble right there in a hard fought victory for the pretty boy Stan the Man Lee. Referee Jake Booth signifying with a raising of his hand the winner Stan Lee. Both men gave it their all right here today. John Noble, his head bounced off of that mat, probably crossed his running lights for just long enough to get the three count. Jake Booth now checking on John Noble. I tell you what, let's take a look at it in replay as we go to break so you can see what's new on the Southern States Wrestling Network. And when we come back, Country Strong, Misty James.
It was a wild night last week in Stickleyville, Virginia, in front of a packed house at the community center. Misty James was scheduled to face Rebecca Lynn in a return title match, but the champion was not there, stating she had a knee injury. Ring announcer Steve-O brought Misty to the ring for a special interview and to let her know her opponent was not there. We then found out Rebecca sent someone special to make a challenge to Misty James. From the beginning of the night, Steve-O was acting a little strange. We're going to let the video speak for itself, and you can see what unfolded in Stickleyville. Stickleyville, it's Misty James!
from. I promise you that. There you saw it, Steve-O, maybe working with Rebecca Lynn. Who knows who this clown was, but it was a wild night. And when I found out what happened, I wanted to go find Steve-O myself right then and take care of it. But Misty told me no. Let her handle it, because she knows that she can take Steve-O in a fight. Whether it's man, woman, or beast, Misty James will not back down from him. On Friday night, November 29th, right back there in Stickleyville, Virginia, Misty James says she is coming to settle the score with Steve-O right there, not far from where she was born and raised in Scott County, Virginia. It's going to be another big night of action in Stickleyville, Virginia on Friday night, November the 29th. Make sure you join us next week for more information about the 29th in Stickleyville. We have a big grudge match right here next week on the program, plus news on upcoming events and what you can find on the Southern States Wrestling Network. Until next week, thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of you. This is Bo James saying bye-bye, everybody.